Happy Thursday. How you doing today, huh? Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. And the best of my life is the rest of my life. Do you believe that? How do I look? My entourage is still sleeping. Not available. But we're here and we're up. I've already been to the gym and back this morning, huh? I'm down there early because I got to get into shape for you people. Amen. How many of you know that you have to stay in shape spiritually and physically? Amen. We have to keep ourselves in spiritual shape too. These videos will do that for you. Amen. And don't forget our podcast this morning. Amen. And uh, you will get a text message today with a link to the podcast, but you can go to CPN shows shows s h o w s dot com c p n shows dot com and you can listen to our podcast there and we're there and those are good and they're different than these videos they told me that we have to keep them different so we have to do a different podcast than the video so we've got a lot of stuff out there for you amen don't forget to share this video and share the podcast with everybody you know, because we want everybody to live in abundance. Amen? We want everybody to live in God's abundance. Also, if you need prayers answered today, call me, because I am in the mood to get somebody's prayer answered. How many of you know we get prayers answered? People call me, and we get prayers answered. This is probably the only prayer line or prayer service available in the country where somebody says, I'll get your prayers answered for you. Other people say, well, you can call my prayer line and I got 75 people sitting there at the phones and they will pray with you. Well, that's wonderful. But are they going to get your prayer answered for you? I will. Because I do. Amen? When I pray for somebody, I mean business. I intend for that prayer to answer. Also, when you do your offerings and donations today to help me send this message around the world, and believe me, it is going around the world, call me because I want to speak the blessing over you at the same time. Amen. Our message today is how Jesus provides for you today. It's out of this book, the Jesus, what we call the Jesus book. This is an awesome book, folks. It's an incredible book, the Jesus book. Now, I read one of these books that I wrote every week because the Lord spoke to me last fall and said, if, if, some, if a person will read one of those books a week for two years, they will live in absolute abundance. And I said, okay. So I started doing it. Amen. How many of you know when the Lord says to me, well, if somebody, that means me too. So I don't tell people just, you need to do this and without doing it myself. I read one of the, because these books quicken my spirit and increase my faith. My own books. Now there's some other books that I read, a few, not too many. But I read these books that I wrote and there's seven of them. Amen. And this week we are reading the book on how to break curses. That's an incredible book. But right now, this message is out of the Jesus book, how Jesus provides for you today. You know, how many of you know that Jesus is not here? Oh, Pastor Jim, he's always here. He says that he would be with us always. Yeah, he did say that. And he's here in spirit, but he's not here in person. He used to be here in person. And when he was here in person, he provided for people. He provided healing for a lot of people. He provided miracles for a lot of people. He provided financial increase for some people. Amen? If he was here today with, with poverty as rampant as it is, guess what he would be interested in? He'd be interested in poverty. So Jesus uh, provided for people. But nowadays, he still provides for us but not the same way. 
Not the same way. How many of you know that the book of Acts is the transition book? It's the transition from the ministry of Jesus and faith in Jesus to the ministry of the apostles and the followers of Jesus, which is us, and faith in the name of Jesus. Now, the faith has had to be transferred from Jesus to his name. Now it is faith in the name of Jesus. Don't believe me? Acts 3.16. Peter healed the man at the gate. And everybody wanted to know how that happened. So Peter explained to the rulers of the synagogue and to the people how it happened. He says, and faith in the name of Jesus has healed this man. He did not say Jesus healed the man. He said faith in the name of of Jesus has healed the man. Big difference. Big difference, folks. Faith in Jesus when he was here. If Jesus was here right now, we would all put our faith in him and he would heal us, he would bless us, he would provide for us, everything. he would take care of his sheep. And we would have faith that he would do that. The sheep have faith in the shepherd to provide for them. Amen? David said, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He had faith in God to provide for him. Amen? But now, Jesus is gone. But he gave us his name. Now we have to have faith in that name. You have got to Faith for abundance and faith to have Jesus provide abundance for you through his name begins with knowing God's will for abundance. In this book, this is Jesus, the abundant provider. Jesus is still the provider, only he doesn't do it in person. This book explains that. But you have to understand God's will for abundance. 3 John 2. Beloved above all things, it is my wish that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. Now, number one, you've got to understand that it is God's will for you to prosper. you got to know it. Well, Pastor Jim, God has me poor for a reason. We're poor, but we're proud. Yeah, God will take care of both of those conditions for you. He'll get rid of that pride, and he'll get rid of that poverty. Both of those are awful conditions. Amen? Well, Pastor Jim, we're poor, but we're happy. No, you're not. Poor people are not happy. Don't talk to me about poor people who are happy. When you can't pay your bills, let me tell you something, folks. There's a lot of stress in your life. A lot of stress. I come face to face with these people. Don't tell me about people being broke and being happy. People standing right here in my house crying because they can't pay their bills. Amen. I deal with that all the time. People on the phone. Pastor Jim, we can't. And they cry because they're under so much stress. There is no poor people are not happy. You go to a poor country like Guatemala. Do you see people down there laughing and, and happy? No, they're not happy. They're broke. They're poor. They're, they're scratching for a living. You go to a place like Switzerland where people are living in abundance, those people are happy. Those people are happy. Amen? You, you go to certain parts of the country, people are happy. You go to other parts of the country, they're not. There's no happiness in Appalachia. I've been there. Amen? I've driven through there. I've stopped there, spent the night there, walked around there. People are not happy. They, 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 the people that come into those gas stations, they're not happy. They can't pay their bills. 
Amen. You have to understand, we have a loving, wonderful, heavenly Father who above all things wants you to be prosperous and to live in health. Above all things, it says. In other words, the two most important things that God wants for you is good health and abundance. That's what he wants for you. Now, he wants you to be obedient. He wants you to love each other and everything. But all that taken into consideration, he wants you to live a healthy, prosperous life. And here's how he provides for it. Through the power in the name of Jesus. That's how he provides for you. There is power in that name, folks. I'm telling you, there's power in that name to drive out poverty. Poverty is an evil, evil, evil spirit. It's a spirit of poverty. And it gets in people. And it gets in families. And it gets in generations of families. Do you ever notice that almost all poor people come from poor families? Amen? This stuff is generational. Generational curses. My dad struggled to make a living and so did I. Didn't affect my brother. But it sure did me till I broke it. Through the power in the name of Jesus. And it's that name of Jesus that provides for me and causes me to live in abundance. Because I use the de name of Jesus to keep the devil out of my finances. Big deal. Huge. Listen to me, people. You use the name of Jesus to keep the devil out of your finances and you are going to live in abundance. I want to say that again. You use the name of Jesus to keep the devil out of your finances and you will live in abundance. Your finances, everything will begin to grow. Once you break the power of the devil in your life. That's what Brother Hagin did. Amen. That's what Kenneth Copeland did. That's what Creflo did. Keith Moore. All the rest. That's what they all do. They all keep the devil out of their finances. And because the devil is out of their finances, they do nothing but increase more and more. Them and their children. Now, it's that simple. If you don't have the faith to do this, and most people don't, you call me. When you partner with me, one of the things I do for my partner is I keep the devil out of their lives, out of their finances and out of their lives. And because I do that, if they will just keep their mouth shut and watch their words, they will eventually live in abundance. It's that simple. So I'm telling you people, do not trip over the simplicity that's in Christ. Paul said, do not, in, in 2 Corinthians 11, 3, he said, do not be deceived by the simplicity that's in Christ. This is so simple, most people cannot get a hold of it. They can't wrap their heads around it. Because it's so simple. Just keep the devil out. In the name of Jesus, get out. How hard is that? You hook up with me. I then that gives me, if you are a, a partner with me, I have the authority to do that in your lives. And I do. Every morning I bind the devil in the lives of my partners. Every morning. All you have to do during the day is just not say anything to curse yourself. Don't override my words. If you don't override my words, I'm telling you what, folks, you are going to increase. Glory to God, I am out of time. Uh, this time has gone by so fast. Don't forget to share this video. When you make your donations today, call me because I want to speak the blessing over you at the same time. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you right back here again tomorrow.